that shit. That chick ain't that shit. Welcome to another podcast. That ain't that shit. Catch you, baby. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, 2024. Assemble. Yeah. Welcome to Here's the Thing. We got a lot to talk about. But first. Church announcements. Church announcements. Uh, I'm just going to list this one city because I, 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 I said I never performed here, but people say they saw me here. I don't remember this, and I don't remember going there. But I put Baton Rouge on sale yesterday. Baton Rouge, Louisiana sold more tickets in one day than every other city on this tour except Washington, D.C. and Atlanta. Wow. Blew my mind. And the church is not big. So I'm telling you right now, if you in Baton Rouge, your city pulling up on Angel Reese. Maybe that's why they love me because you know I'm big Angel Reese over here. And LSU is in Baton Rouge. Isn't that the state capital? Baton Rouge. Don't you get me on no capital. I never knew all the capitals. I think, no, that one was always, uh, that was always, I believe you, Patreon is is, is Baton Rouge. Uh, Okay, we're gonna have fun there. They got a they got a veterans museum. Baton Rouge is the capital. We not doing Virginia Beach. We doing Chesapeake. They got a veterans museum. They got a veterans museum. Nice. Right. It's on a Chesapeake warship. is seven cities. I tried to get Virginia Beach. I could I couldn't do it. Chesapeake is seven cities. It's twenty minutes from uh from uh, Virginia Beach. Y'all know uh do we, what we got in the seven cities. We got Virginia Beach. We Chesapeake, got one of Hampton the seven? Roads. Yep. We got Chesapeake. We got uh the seven Norfolk. Cities. So, yeah, seven cities of the Hampton Roads area. Oh, I know. We're doing. You don't know. That. Let me think if I can remember. Virginia Beach. Are we doing all these seven cities? No, no. These are oh, the seven cities. Like, Jesus. So if you do a show in this area, you considered you're doing <laughs> so the you No, no, you're doing the seven five seven. All right, don't. No, I'm not looking at the Patreon. See how many I remember. You got Virginia Beach. You got Chesapeake. You got Norfolk. Uh-huh. You got Suffolk. Uh huh. You got Hampton. Roanoke, maybe? Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm blanking on this second one. Portsmouth. 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 W- Will- oh, Newport, no, Newport News. News. Williamsburg. Newport News. So Chesapeake, Matt Norfolk, Rose. Suffolk, Virginia Beach, Nor- Newport News, Hampton, Portsmouth. Newport News is where Allen Iverson is from. Anywhere. Is that where they make the cigarettes, too? I don't believe so. <laughs> I think uh, that's... But all this, there's a lot of cities doing well, but... Um, no, I think you're right, Angel. Or no, Richmond. Newport's? I think she was joking, weren't you? Oh, Mar Marlboro, Mar Marlboro. Listen, I was close down. Marlboro, show. they used to have a plant in uh, in Richmond, I believe. See, yeah. I be I be smart when I'm funny you too. Be smart when you're funny too. All right, Richmond. but anyway, the rest of the tour dates are where they be. Angel, what you it got going like on? It looks like the books of the Bible I'm, on there. Listen, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what happened. What happened, Kev? The wedding. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The child starting. The child starting college. The other child preparing for college. Luckily, Zay Zay's in state tuition. Amen. JoJo want to go NCA and T. They're gonna be like, sure, come over here. Uh huh. Full rate. And I didn't go on the road that much this and year. Full rate and on campus housing. And that's what you, Zay Zay's at home, and that you still got to pay that tuition. And they they probably still won't even put JoJo yeah. in on state in state uh housing. He'll probably be in an apartment, a See? nice one. And that's what I'm talking about. And plus, I didn't go on the road that much this year, so I'm going. I'm going. Um. Uh, How to Die Alone, uh, episode four. You might hear a little something that you didn't heard before. That was in the notes. To get me a reader. Y'all forgot all about this. And I was like. You did? Yes. I said, what what did they ask? We had negotiated this last year. Did you really? You probably just had a lot going on with that song at at the time. I mean, not really. I just forgot. Okay. <laughs> just, it just I forgot. I to help you out there. No, I just forgot. And I went into my email and I typed in how to die alone. How to die alone. Let me see why how they don't. They paid me. Okay. No, that hasn't happened yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's on its way. But I was like, how to die. Oh, yes, I did say yes. So how does this work? I've always been curious. I got to tell you a funny story about this real quick and then we'll start the episode. Uh-huh. How does this work on your end? Because I, boy, something happened to me with this and now I can talk about it because we done fixed it. But uh-huh. well, I done learned a lot of lessons about television making. Okay. So exactly. what they what they say, Angel? So what happens is there's two licenses they have to do to get, excuse me, in order to use music. They have to get the sync license and then I think the other is... Um, 
called the master. Hold on, I'll tell you. It's the sink and the mechanical uh, license. Um, hey, hey, I'm about to lie to y'all. Anyways, <laughs> once <laughs> I figured out, I'll tell y'all. y'all. I'm about to lie to y'all is what I know. Um, so what happens is they have to negotiate on both sides. So currently, the old record label that I was with, they control the licensing on one side. I control, I do believe, the sync license. I'm about to tell y'all the truth. I control composition. They control Who the master, they? the record, record label, label okay. Because I licensed it to them to control how it is licensed for okay. the ne- for like a, a certain amount of years, mm-hmm. and then. But I still have me and the two other artists, the mm-hmm. the producers, have control over the composition. You have to get a license for both mm. because it's not as if. You have somebody doing karaoke of of my song. Got your voice. It's my voice. It's my words. So it's if it's my... a sync, if they did the instrumental, would they have to use um, the composite, or they just have to do one? Or they do you know? would not have the. It wouldn't be the master. That mm. would be composition. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So they negotiated both sides, and so I get a check for my side, and I said, "Great! How great is our God? Great! Yeah! Great!" So thank you to How to Die Alone, and thank you to everybody who sent it to me because I, again, forgot about it. All right, so uh, late last night, uh, Sean Diddy Combs was taken into custody. Yes, he was. He was arrested. He was arrested in New York. Um, I would recommend you, if you want to see how despicable he was, to read the indictment. I'm not going to read it here. Uh, I'm just going to say, I don't think, nor does it look like he's going to be uh, getting out of this. Mm -hmm. The Southern District of the New York, when they get on you, if you if you watch the show Billions, um, it's about uh, it's about SEC filings and all that stuff. But the prosecutors of the Southern District of New York take the highest profile cases they are some of the ones that do the RICO stuff, the mob stuff. They take some of the biggest cases. They are some of the ones that let you do Dig your whole your whole crime. Yeah, they want to make sure they can get you real good. They let you go. They'll surveil you. Mm-hmm. They'll have informants. They are the they have an amazing success rate when they decide to go to prosecution. And they had this on suits. Yes, when they get you, when the SDNY gets you, mm. baby, it's you got. You are got. They've been on you. You're just, the, you're just pleading a shorter sentence at that oh, point. Oh, by the time by by the time they get on you, Josh, uh, someone I, this is not like provable, but someone said Diddy was already in New York just waiting to be arrested. It's it's not a surprise by the time they come knocking on your door. And it ain't for questioning. The police come for questioning. The feds come with questions answered yeah. and proof. Come on, that's the way to put and it. And they'll let you go commit crimes for years. Mm-hmm. Be like, oh, the more. Ah, oh, you, this- you just don't want to come home. <laughs> you, oh, you had big fun down in Baltimore. You- huh? <laughs> and, and I don't know if y'all saw Diddy was going viral like the last week or so, just walking around on the beach, taking pictures. Looking dead behind the eyes. Because he knew he was like, this is the last time I'm going to see any of this before. Man. Take a good look around. <laughs> Take it all in. <laughs> Take it all in. Because, boy, mm-hmm. that lawsuit was heinous. You know, in Law and Order SVU, That's the we beginning. prosecute the heinous. Did you read all the pages? I didn't read all the pages. Did you just uh, do a, a Melanie Goosby? No, no, no. I just read, I read some of the excerpts because uh-huh. it looks like a lot of the pages came out this morning. Like yeah. the rest came out, but I was already getting ready to come here. Uh, and a lot of it was, um, had been brought up in other lawsuits, in Cassie's yeah. lawsuits. It just seems to be more enlisting what he had. He had like a like guns, a thousand bottles. Like they said, he had and a thousand all bottles of baby oil and lube and stuff. Uh-huh. Um, and having that's re- a lot. The word that's that's Isn't insane. That a lot? Baby oil and lube. That's just. I'm like, uh, was a baby oil for a uh, uh, what you gonna wet t-shirt? The when you know when people wrestle each other in the little pool thing. Yeah, wet t-shirt contest. Yeah, but it's not wet t-shirt, but it'd be it's just oil. Oh, the baby, the oil wrestling. Yeah, the oil wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what he was doing, mm. but it was it was heinous. And let me, I just let me just pull back the thing. I just want to say this, and I'm glad I have approached 
my career this way. Mm -hmm. I'm content right now. Money could right. be gone tomorrow. All the, the fame aspects, the worst part of it, mm -hmm. but money wise, I ain't, I, I ain't got to be more than this. I just want to tell my jokes, <laughs> pay for my family, be able to travel the world. I'd love to be able to do luxury, but if I can't no more, I done flew overseas in that main cabin. Double tree got those cookies, man. I ain't, I done <laughs> been down to the double tree job many a time. Many a time. I done been down to the Holiday Inn Express. Mm -hmm. Continental breakfast was included in my plans for the weekend. If <laughs> something wrong with that breakfast, that's a meal gone. Yeah. I'm still gonna be able to do what I want to do at whatever level I have. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I think, you know, uh, Nate Jackson said this when, when he first moved to LA. He said, you, before you, if you want to be successful in this career, before you do, you need to decide what it is you want in this world. Because this world, if you're successful, give it to you. If you want power, if you want women, if you want drugs, yeah. it will do it. I said, I want an intact family. I want Thanksgiving. I've said this a million times. I want fun Thanksgivings where we play werewolf. I want game night now and in the future. So I be, be like, nah, y'all is weird. Nah, mm -hmm. nah. You know, JoJo's birthday Thursday. You know what we doing? We having a we having a party in our backyard on Saturday that oh. I got to put a grill together, a there Weber you grill. Oh, you you're grilling? I'm grilling. Good, the, good the, job, the Dad. The grilliest hot dogs and burgers these kids Come ever on, got. Come on, and they're gonna be delicious. They're gonna I'm love gonna it. And I'm gonna order ribs from the real place. I'm not gonna <laughs> mess with no ribs. You say I'm not doing it. But I think I don't never need so much sex that I got to have a thousand bottles of lubricant. That's just liquid, li no pun liquid, like on that's hand. Just a, that's you should never need that. You, the only reason you need that is if you are in the you sell it, you have an ask <laughs> Amazon is store. This, is this I what am, is being boxed up? And that is the out. only reason you should ever have that much. I am the and baby oil man, it. and man, there's no reason. Yeah, you don't even need that much for a good time. A thousand, I, I don't, I don't, I, you know, this Diddy has been. Famous for a long time. Been famous our whole life. Pretty my whole, whole life. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what Mine was too. happening with him in the 80s, but uh, I mean, from my memory of him, maybe my, my my whole life. Yeah, but a lot of it. He's had influence for a very long time, mm -hmm. and the fact that we we and our big fours. So if we're saying that he's been famous since at least like maybe I was 12, for 20. Well, I was about to say 28 years. I'm not 40. I keep making myself 40. You had that moment as a full For 32 <laughs> years, and excuse before, me, yeah. he has potentially, I'm not saying that as soon as he got power, he's been acting deviant. Nah, but Angel, I ain't gonna, when I read that first thing, they said when he was at Howard. Okay, well then let's go ahead and take before, it back. All, at so, Howard, so before he even went likely, to L.A. Reed. So possibly for maybe 34, 36 years, this man has been using his influence to have deviant types of acts and it's just now being uh he's just now about to have to pay the price for all of that yeah that's astounding Man. that tells you what money money and power and influence yeah. plus fear of retribution well that's that power lot. part yeah. yeah that power because sometimes it's just like it's, you know, a lot of editors and, and, and uh, journalists said you couldn't even write a story about Diddy because the fear of what would happen to your publication if, it, if they printed it was too much. So sometimes they wouldn't even write it. Sometimes say, I write it, Angel, my editor, or vice versa, like, nah. Or sometimes they would write it, he would hear about it, and then they would get taken out, taken down before it printed. And that's just journalists. Yeah. Artists, the victims... They said he, the, there was all kind of narcotics in the house. Uh, I saw that. The lawsuit alleges um, that basically the the women and men were kept in some sort of drug-induced uh, state. state. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember, y'all seen the movie Taken, uh, but the, mm -hmm. the, the girls were taken and they were being sex trafficked. Mm -hmm. And basically, once they kidnapped them, the girl was just basically in and out of versions of being high. Right, that's what so, they do to the yeah, girls. So yeah, so you can't get out, and obviously this is a, a fictionalized version, but uh, uh, a lot of these indictments say, a lot of these victims who make it out are like, we were high, you don't even know, you can't protect yourself. Uh, so they got him on sex trafficking, racketeering. Um, it's unlikely that he comes home, and good riddance. 
<laughs> and good for real, riddance. good riddance. I think, um, you know, when you become this person, the, the thing about it is nobody is inherently good or evil. Right. Right. So somebody could say, Diddy didn't do anything to me. Yeah. He didn't nothing but help my career. And yeah. that could be true for that person. More people and all, people in these lawsuits can say Diddy was the worst thing ever. Yeah. Some of the stuff about Diddy's not even new. The sex trafficking is relatively new, but Diddy being a bad steward for careers is a tale as old as time. Correct. You know, Diddy don't take care of his artists. That's not new news, mm -hmm. right? Um, but you don't have to, no one's inherently good or evil. Angel and I and Josh, we're all nice, good people, but we all get pissed off. Mm. We have bad moments, you know, whatever, you know. <laughs> but so I don't want, you know, cause a lot of times when it was Bill Cosby, it was like, but look what all he did for. Yeah, I think people think they, everything is binary. Right. Like you either flip the switch on or you flip the switch off mm -hmm. where most of us live in a life of gray and we try it, you know, if we uh, have any sense about us, we try to move into a place of light. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that darkness doesn't sometimes grab a hold of us at times where we could have chose the right thing to do. Yep. Um, where in this instance, uh, it sounds as though Diddy chose not the right thing to do. And um, a lot of people suffered the hands of it. I can't wait until he's already locked up. But I also, I'm really hoping that the people who were complicit, this is what I pray for myself. I don't, like you said, none of, these, none of us are ever going to be a Diddy. Not because of power, not because of money, just because that is not who we are as right. people. I just don't ever want to be the person that sits back and watches this happen and does not say anything. I understand that my words can't always change something, but I hope I am never in a place where I am so fearful of the consequences or backlash that I will get yeah. that I will watch someone be treated in a way or someone be taken, uh, their freedom be taken away due to them being drugged, due to them, be, them being afraid Yeah, and just be silent. For sure. And it's like, <clears throat> remember when the Cassie lawsuit came out and it was like, this isn't a one-to-one -one connection. I want to say, uh, but it was like, yeah, and then she blew up, he blew up Diddy or I'm um, sorry, Cuddy's car, Kid Cuddy's car. And Kid Cuddy was like, yep, he did that. And I'm like, if a, if people know you're capable of that, that sort of fear where you're just like, I mean, I might want to say something, but I don't want to, what if I was in that car? Like that level of evil, I can't think of a, of a better word, a, a more appropriate word than evil. Retrobate, what is it called? Retro, re reprobate. Re reprobate mind. Reprobated mind. That's what it is. That man, that, that was, that was, that lawsuit, y'all, he was evil. He he was, and I listen, Diddy's probably what, 50 something, closing in on 60. Mm -hmm. He's gonna spend some years in there. Yeah, I, I, you know who I wanna hear talk is um, J Lo. Mm. Oh, he's 54. He, ain't, I, he, ain't, he's close he to only 10 years older than me. I wanna hear the people who, who might not have experienced mm -hmm. his heinousness. And I would love for them to be vulnerable, but I'm sure they're not because they are not gonna wanna touch this. But to hear, like, what did you see? Man. And what did you kind of, were you like, is that, no, that can't be what it was. Yeah. Or what did you see and was just like, I got to get out of here. Yeah, because remember, he was with her during the Shine thing, the gun charge. Yeah. Uh, and I believe Shine went to prison mm -hmm. for over 10 years of it. If if I'm not mistaken, well, it was, was that the shoot the shooting somebody in the face on the club? I or think something? that was the club. The club, yeah. Yeah, I feel like he was in jail for a minute. If it wasn't 10 years, it, it was more than five. Mm -hmm. uh, and apparently oh, then he got deported is what they said. Yeah. Shoot. Listen, Fonsworth Bentley probably got some stuff to say. He, he posted and deleted some stuff. Mm. I think my hope is once Diddy's behind bars, people feel comfortable. Let you, this is what I saw. <laughs> and I think he threatened my mama. Yeah. Yeah. I think Sean actually went into politics. Yep. I was, I was, I was seeing that. So, uh, good riddance, Arriva Uh Hope your trial is short. I hope your um, you gonna have to take that take sentence that. is long. Hope your trial can't, is short. Hope your can't say I'll be those. missing you. Okay, oh, Josh. Listen, okay. we'll do all of them. What okay. man? Okay. We were all doing it. Okay. More money, more problems. Now more time. What you you got one off? I wanted. I, I said your sentence is short. Your time is long. There he was we're a bad boy. See, oh, listen, we'll oh, keep going. Okay. What? Oh, okay. 
Well, yes. keep going, guys. Amen. Oh, but you know what we're going to keep going on is researching for women, right? Because we want women to have the best of the best, and that's why we're so glad that Ritual is a sponsor for today. I don't know if y'all know this. If you've listened to this podcast before, because we've worked with Ritual before, I've told y'all that women were actually excluded from clinical research policy by federal law until 19. 19- 13, not 13, excuse me, 1993. That's insane. I was 13 years old and they finally said, women, y'all could be a part of clinical research. Well, women belong in research and scientific research. They're essential. And Ritual knows that. They conducted a university-led human clinical trial for their essential for women 18 plus multivitamin to assess how well it works. The results, it increased vitamin D levels by 43%, omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in just 12 weeks. I love, 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 love Ritual because sometimes I be like, these companies be lying, right? And so I have to research, like, what what, does this thing actually do what you say it does? Does it have the ingredients that you actually say you have on there? Well, if you're a skeptic like me, you have found the right place to be because... Ritual knows that every good skeptic deserves a multivitamin that exceeds your standard. Their clinically backed essential for women 18 plus multivitamin has high quality traceable key ingredients and clean bioavailable forms. I love Ritual. You'll love it. It's easy to take. Two minty capsules that are delayed release. That's my jam. Um, And Ritual uses scientific tools to select lower carbon packaging and prioritize sustainable sourced ingredients and set ambitious climate goals. Ritual is a female owned B Corp, meaning they are holding themselves accountable to not just their company's financial health, but also the health of the people in our planet. No more shady business. Ritual's Essentials for Women 18 Plus is a multivitamin you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month at ritual.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. Start Ritual at Essential for Women 18 Plus to your subscription today that's ritual.com forward slash crew with a k for 25 percent off all right um patreon people put this in here more than anything right before diddy uh and shits and gigs and s and g's and listen i surely i still be saying their name wrong i was calling them shits and giggles you, you just said they're full. That's their birth name. That's the birth, the whole yeah, the birth name, is, the government name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. didn't know nothing about it. It ain't no gigs right now. It's all the shits. It's all, <laughs> ain't no gigs. So let's go in order. You don't know nothing about it because you don't be on Twitter. Come on. And I, I, listen, let me just quickly say this before we get into it. My days are numbered. <laughs> they, they be cooking old Kev on the Twitter. They cook you old. Oh, oh, man. Last week, Angel, they had yeah. big fun on Kev last yeah. week. Tell me, what they do to my friend? They be cooking your boy. What'd they be, say? They be, I, they be Benny Hollis. <laughs> they what do, they do all the tricks. But don't, tell me, Kevin, why they cook you over there? So, what'd you do? Oh, let, man. let me tell you the worst thing that ever happened to Twitter. Because I've been getting cooked a long time. But back in the day, you had your following page. Right? Like on the TikTok. And you know, TikTok has the for you. The for you didn't exist on Twitter before. They opened it up to the for you tab being the main thing. And that opens you up to more stuff. So the Kev on stage ain't funnies didn't hit me that much because I don't search my name. Mm -hmm. I don't go down there to be. You ain't got to search it. We'll give it to you. If you you star my name, you don't have nice things to say. Ain't Mm -hmm. nobody said, you know, Kev on stage, star, star, Kev. Uh -uh. What a handsome gent. Uh When they don't want you to see it, they say it with their chest. So, um, somebody tweeted Kevin on stage ain't funny. And I didn't even think, I wasn't even tripping. I, I'm okay with you thinking I'm not funny. I, I'm long past mm-hmm. trying to fight for everybody to be, to be funny to everybody. I got a good chance mm-hmm. if you're 35 and up, former church kid, a current church kid, you like gospel and R&B, I got a, a solid chance. If that ain't who you are, then I might not have a chance with you, even if it is who you are. But I ain't got to be funny to everybody. You ain't got to win every vote to be president. You cor- Come on. You know? Come so on. I had made a Frankie uh, Beverly uh, post. Uh-huh. And I just did my joke, you know, before I let go, Frankie, we miss you. Honoring him in the way that a comedian would honor somebody. Same way an artist would paint, whatever. Didn't go over well on Twitter. Went over well everybody else. People like, I did this this morning. As soon as I heard, I turned this music on. We were in all white from Frankie in New Orleans. I did what, what came natural. What they say to you, Kevin? Everything but a child of God. Oh no! Call me everything but a child of God. And the thing was, I How was really busy. 
everything ain't content. You got to know when it's right. And I said, oh, everything my bad. is content. I said, oh, you, okay, my bad. Cause I, and I was working on another project. So I wasn't on my phone like I usually was. Uh, and again, the people was cooking me on, they wasn't following me. I said, oh, let me delete that video, move on with my life. You deleted the video because you got so many negative comments? It ain't even that. I mean, yes, but when the attention is negative, I don't need it. You don't it. want it. Okay. I don't want the mentions. I understand. Right? So I'm that's why sorry. I got kicked. Uh, Everything's but, not content to everybody because everything is content. Because somebody's going to find the, somebody is going to be like, ah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, true. Because uh, technically, if you post a tweet and says, I miss you, Frankie Beverly, that's technically content. That's what I'm saying. Right? So anyway, so the s and G's guys, they did an American podcast tour, um, another one, because yes. they came down and visit with us. The first time. Uh, and they went on Poor Minds. We're, we're going to start with Poor Minds. Is that right? the name? Poor, isn't it Bastardly something? It's just Poor Minds? Poor Minds. Oh, okay. The podcast? Yeah. Oh, that's the other podcast. Oh, is you, what? You're Bastardly? talking about Schultz podcast. Yeah. Oh, no, no that's Flagrant. Flagrant. Is that what you? I said bastardly. <laughs> I knew where she was going. Angel, I wouldn't have helped you on the taboo. But listen, he was there. I, you need more than bastardly. one person. Bastardly. There you go. You was over there, Angel. Uh, I just bastardly. knew she wasn't talking about poor mind, so I was like, who else was what the Schultz? What is the other one? Hmm? What's the other one called? The other podcast? Yes. Flagrant 2. Flagrant 2? It's called Flagrant 2? Flagrant 2 podcast. They got two podcasts. Then no, he got another one. With Charlemagne the God. Oh, brilliant idiots. Bastardly. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> yes. Jesus. Y'all get on the same damn page with me. Stay screws with her. Brilliant idi idiots. Bastardly. <laughs> How could I now? say flagrant but started with a B and mixed them two up? Yes. Go We're going to get to that. Uh-huh. But let's start with Poor Minds with uh, Friends of the Pod, Lex P and Drea. This went viral. Atlanta. I've seen the least bodies. So In Atlanta, I've seen the least bodies so far. Oh, yeah. thank God we ain't from here. I'm a Texas girl. You ain't offending me, none. <laughs> 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 you see that ain't fake. You see. We'll still go a couple days. Maybe we'll find out. But yeah, yeah. I, I've seen like two or three. Okay, but what is y'all's type, though? Bad is the type. But facts. <laughs> so what makes the girl bad? It varies. Though. It matters how you own it. Uh, it can be a like a skinny girl who wears the fuck out of being a skinny girl. Mm -hmm. and, she just, and then you got a thick thing who just owns the shit out of being a thick thing. Mm -hmm. It's bad as bad. That's a PR answer. A PR answer. Yeah. They're all answer. beautiful. If you have, Man, I'm not saying everyone's beautiful. I just told you Atlanta's okay. clap. <laughs> I never said everyone's beautiful. I just said I'm not seeing anybody's here. You know what's funny That's about true. Atlanta oh, though? So Atlanta has a lot of transplants. So a lot of the people that live here, yeah. like you rarely run into people when you're out and stuff that are from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Like the real Atlanta people, they be in the trenches, like off oh. of Cascade. We about to get jumped next time we go out. <laughs> <laughs> Cleveland Ave. That's what they be. <laughs> So this came out, and this begat, they don't like black women. They must only like white women. And actually, honestly, Lex and Drea took a lot of heat for for this clip. For not, for not coming at them. For not pushing back. You will I, never be able to please everybody with that answer. So let Go me ahead. tell you something that this, this whole thing made me realize in a crystal clear way. Not only are you responsible for when you go on somebody's podcast platform, whatever, not only are you responsible for what you say, mm -hmm. you are responsible for how you react to what the other podcast guests say, yes. the host. Whether you laugh at a, what joke is inappropriate or inappropriate, what you uh, push back on and don't push back on. That was us with Keith Lee. You are 100%, absolutely. I, I've known this, but this made it crystal clear. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's more than what you say or don't say. It's what you, what they say, what you allow. Whoever whose podcast you go on. Why would you allow Cause... them to say Fill in the blank. Because yes, because that's what Dre and Lex were getting. They were getting mad at them because why y'all ain't defend Atlanta? They're like, what? We, I didn't take it. They, they're like, I didn't take it no kind of way. And they were, this was getting dragged for three, four days on the Twitter. Go well, because she she said, well, I ain't from Atlanta, so I'm not offended. And mm -hmm. so I think Atlanta people are like, but you're supposed to represent us. 1,000%. So you represent us, represent us. And that's what I'm saying. What you say, don't say or push back on. Here's what I found interesting. You reach Atlanta airspace, amen? As a, as a black man who is attracted to black women, you reach Hartsfield Jackson <laughs> International Airport. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you leave Terminal C mm -hmm. without seeing a beautiful black woman, a baddie. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they mean by baddie. I guess that's creme de la creme, mm -hmm. top of the top. Yeah. But 
I don't know where you went if you got out the airport, if you went down to Publix, if you went down to the underground, whatever part of Atlanta you're in, how you didn't see no baddies in Atlanta. That's the first thing that I thought. I said, where y'all went? Well, that's how you get the, oh, y'all must not be into black women because majority of the baddies you're going to see are going to be black. And because Atlanta is full of them, yes. bro just brimming over with gorgeous black women, is like, okay. Two so or three, you should have seen every two or three minutes. They, so they're saying, <laughs> do you, they only saw two or three non-black that's women where is people probably what jumped. people yeah that's now, the they did not say that and that's the thing that i want to be clear on he didn't say he didn't see no pretty women he didn't say he didn't see nobody he said i only saw two or three he did say atlanta was clapped uh, okay he's like so he i mean say we, that. Can, we can try but to pivot the, around it the, but came off oh no oh uh, <laughs> uh the jump was that they must hate black women they don't like black women now saying you don't see no baddies in atlanta is like saying you don't see no traffic in new york like you don't see no water in the ocean, like you don't see no um, line it in and out humidity, line it in and out humidity in Houston. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No smiles like, at Disneyland. Stop, stop it. You stop know, it. no Mexicans in Mexico. What part? You or go LA. to where you ain't see no Mexicans in Mexico. We're actually everywhere, right? So I, that's like saying I went to England and I didn't see no what's England T bruvs. White Bean English uh, afternoon tea. Beans. White people. Anyway, they got a lot of them. Um, buggies, uh, red telephone boots. You really might not see those. And no, maybe, I was gonna say I don't see those as much anymore. But the taxis, the little bugs, the, the black cars. Bub, bugs. But, but like anyway, this, I can see how people jump to the conclusion. It is it jumping to a conclusion or making an assumption? Mm -hmm. Yes. But however, if the equation is two plus blank equals four. <laughs> You know More than likely, you're going to think the answer there is two, not four divided by two <laughs> is X. You're not going to... Bang gals, yeah. Yeah, people are not going to put the more complex version of the answer when there's a simple answer. Yeah. That's all it is. But, but for me, just for me, Kevin, first of all, I think that little... That, that clip to me was got blown out of proportion. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was like, I only saw two or three... Atlanta's clap, blah blah blah. Like I've only been here for a night. Could have been. He could. It could have been we his just first flew day. In. We we came here straight from Hartsville Jackson and and went straight no, to the he podcast. Said it's clapped. The no. clap. I, the yeah, clap. He said, clap, but we've only strong. been here. If we, we only been here for a, a little bit of time, so that's the reason why he said no. Nah, where where, let sh fight. where should we go? Point us in the direction. Yeah, but that even though even then uh -huh. I feel like that, compared to the other stuff, right? This clip was uh this clip was blown out of proportion, right? For for me, Kevin. Now, for a black woman. Oh, I would have definitely been like, oh, they ain't a black woman. For Atlantans. What people from Atlanta called? Atlantans? AT aliens. AT for for show, sure, that's what we call ourselves. <laughs> but on, on the news, what they say, Atlantans. What Atlantonians. Atlantonians? Uh, Georgians. I'm just making up stuff. Georgianos. Georgianos. AT, 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 Atlanteans? Atlantians. Atlanteans. Atlanteans. Okay. Now, as a black woman, because here's the thing. I'm not a black woman. Mm -hmm. So as a black woman, I could see how you be like, oh, no. What y'all trying to say? Atlanta's, I can see the offense, right? Offhand joke. The Atlanta clap part. I don't see no baddies part. I'm, I'm separating the two. At, I don't see, I only seen two or three baddies. Not that big. Atlanta's clapped. Don't know why you said that. Probably would have never said that. Don't know what you said, what you said. Um, well, and also what makes so sorry, what makes it a little bit more egregious is because Atlanta has so many black women, you know you're not getting a monolithic experience of black women. Yeah. So you, if you want country, yes. cornbread thick, ass dragging on the ground. <laughs> on the ground, Angel? You're going to get that. Yeah. If you want extremely petite thin wears her hair straight has more like even if you're like i would like a black woman with more european like features yeah you're gonna find that in atlanta too you get the whole spectrum and you say that it's clapped it's just like so nut does anything on what this but also, mean? But also they asked them how they would define like what's a baddie right and they yeah. didn't have a clear answer for that either though 
Right. And it was a spectrum answer. It was yes. if you big, if you thick and you uh what do you, you say, thick a thing and you own it. If that tank what do you say? Ting. Ting thick and you own it. Love it. If you're skinny oh, and you wear it tight, okay. if you wear skinny and you own it. So that tells me, oh, so you have a broad spectrum and nowhere was yeah. there anybody. I thought I thought he meant Atlanta's clapped like Atlanta's over with. Like you see, it means ugly. You see it that means ugly. You see, so now previous you see. statements. Okay, so go, go ahead. ahead and rewind I thought, that you, I thought it was like charged. Head. Like it's another word. <laughs> I enjoy. How, how could we let Kev get away with saying clapped was okay, right? <laughs> well, I thought he meant like Atlanta is. I no, thought he meant over that, with. That's what would be the response to anybody watching. Oh this yeah, 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 us. yeah. Because I'm like, what does clap mean? Okay, so now uh, I'm just saying. I didn't back. see no baddies, but two or three. To me, what, what was a bigger thing than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Getting mad at Lex and Dreo for not pushing back was was bigger than I thought, mm -hmm. right? But either way, the other stuff is the bigger stuff, right? So they went on the Flagrant 2 um, podcast. And the thing that's interesting about this, they, they went in July, right? Mm -hmm. I think the Atlanta baddies clip made the other clips resubmerge resubmerge well because probably for or most surface. people is who are these guys they're still i mean they're crossing over still you know yeah they're still relatively new yeah yeah on twitter they were going viral years ago when i found them they were just they were just funny right mm. um but obviously we, we most of us who are not like content creators like me angel josh tony most of us don't have time to sit down and listen to full podcasts of any other than our own because we spend so much time making them. So I enjoyed the guys mostly from their clips on social media. There was a time when I was listening before I started anime, I was listening to more of their podcasts, but ever since I started anime, that's what I've been doing on my walks. Right? So I think they went on flagrant two in, uh, July flagrant two is Schultz and your boy Schultz, Akash, Alex be on there. Sometimes the white dude, I think his name is Mark. Um, Mark, Gagnon, I believe. Um, so this clip is from there. I got a lot of clips in there. Let's see. Hold on. In the comments, people are saying clapped means ugly. Somebody was like, I still don't know what it means. Oh, okay. We know that it's not a positive. Yeah. Let's let's just all get on the same boat. All right. So here's the other clip. That's the bigger. Yeah. Oh, and the white is side is what? Irish. It's Irish. Say it. Yeah. 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 No, this is not this one. Hold on. You know what I hate about TikTok? When you put a TikTok in and you click it and TikTok shows you another click, another mm -hmm. TikTok. Or it starts playing the audio from the search. Yes. Let me find the other one. This is one though. <laughs> that shit's probably harder to pick than Kai. And if you pick this is one thing. White side is what? Irish. Is Irish. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, in today's comment, you're a colonizer right now. <laughs> yeah. Right, but it's really the game, not bro. there because the Irish got fucked too. Yeah. You're you're like you're double slaved. Yeah. So that's that's one. No, I heard the clip that dealt with black women. Yeah, that's what I that's what I thought that was going to. Let me find that one. Um me, showed it to me yesterday. That's why you got my text message. Oh, you didn't, you hadn't looked at the docket yet. No. God, dog. Hold no. On. So I didn't even know if you were going to put it in the docket because I know sometimes you'd be like, I'd be not. trying to avoid stuff, yeah, but this Patreon yeah. was like, um. Oh, I was going to bring it up anyways on the podcast yeah. if it wasn't. I was be like, now let, let me tell y'all what I just found out. All right, He's here gonna, we go. There we go. So you'll see, I, uh, what is the black girlfriend effect? This oh, you don't know about that. Blow up the other culture. Yeah, so you'll see I, uh, a guy who's had a black girlfriend, all of a sudden he's got a buzz cut, like, yeah, clean shape up. Nah, nah, yeah, 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 nah, yeah
They yeah. shave their hair because they start losing it. Because they're so stressed <laughs> around this black girl complaining about shit all the fucking time. Oh. That's why they got to shave their hair. Nah, bro. I got to my girlfriends. They, they grow a beard because there's up. more cushion when they get slapped the fuck out of it. That's hilarious. I think, I think the black girlfriend effect, hmm. It might be a protective instinct, bro. You think? Protective. Yeah. Do you guys, do you guys, have you ever had black girlfriends? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, have you ever had white girls? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. What's your favorite? <laughs> 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 we love them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, really? We love them all. Yeah. That means white. Who gives you that? That is white. Hey, let me get no. the email translation. Get your fans. Get them. We love them all. Yeah, that's more language for so I didn't like this motherfucker back when he said Taylor Swift was a better performer than Beyonce. That's when I knew. Talk about shows? Yes, that's yeah. when I knew the devil rides in his body on a constant basis. The devil rides? This is what I asked question-wise. I understand that Andrew gets a lot of uh, listeners, gets a lot of viewers. Mm -hmm. But Andrew also race baits often. At least those are the only clips that I ever see is when he is purposefully trying to row white, black people up yeah, and have white people be like, yo, that's the same thing, bro. Yeah. So <laughs> is that how they say it? That's absolutely how they say it. <laughs> so I, one was already confused on why this is where they would want to make a stop in their Amer Cause let's be very clear. Shits and giggles is popular and popping because of, or gigs, their regular name. Because bastardly. <laughs> bastardly br brilliant minds <laughs> that shit and giggle are big because of black women. Hard stop. There is no other. Unequivocally. There is no other formula in this equation besides black women. Mm-hmm. So I don't understand why you would go to any podcast where black women are not their predominant audience. Yeah. I think, let me tell you what. So I think I'll speak for me. Sometimes when you go to outside podcasts that are not the same audience, it's to try to gain more of an audience. That's not your audience mm -hmm. right now. I would be careful of a podcast like Flagrant 2. That's what I'm saying. Nowadays. Now, full honesty, I went on Flagrant 2 years ago. What were you doing over there? I wasn't on the I wrong side of the I railroad wasn't on the wrong tracks. Side. I wasn't on the wrong side uh, of the railroad tracks. I know that much. I don't even remember what I said on there. But at the time, it wasn't what it is Did now. Did you let them call black women monkeys and things of what of that? Find the clip, somebody, because I'm going to whoop you your ass. <laughs> If that's the case. <laughs> now, you, let, let me tell you what I know. I know who butters my bread. Uh -huh. It's black women with moisturized knuckles and elbows and shea butter scent. Nigga, we ain't got the butter bread. We are the bread. And niggas gonna quick try to play us. Uh, we like them both. No, that's not the answer you give as a black man. I don't give two shits if it's not the truth. <laughs> you say, uh, no, black women are the preference. That's what the f you say. I don't care if you got a white woman at home watching <laughs> that is a pimp preparing to suck your thing when you get there. Now, Pippa, you know what I got to say on you the podcast. You say black women, <laughs> fire, love them all. Nothing else. <laughs> They're delicious. What is white? No book paper. I write on it. That's about it. I didn't even say you got to put down white women. But when you're a black man, huh? And black women are putting money in your fucking pocket. We better be the stars in the sky. The, the sun that rises and wakes your ass up. You don't sit there. We love them. No, no, sir. Head wrap really doing a lot of heavy lifting too right now. Uh, yeah, it's really it driving the, whole, the point home. Because, Head wrap with the print, really, with, with the earrings. Yeah, because I, them two babies sat between us. They sure okay? did. And that was very nice, very complimentary of them. Demure. I was very demure. I could have said, y'all are way too short for me. As a woman, as a grown woman, but I said y'all are both handsome, in shape, funny. Yeah. Complimented them. I didn't say I don't like the English accent. It makes you sound feminine. I didn't say those things. Because that would be rude. Yeah. I'm just saying that the apology. Oh, we're gonna have to play the apology. We're gonna play the apology. We gonna give the full scope down to the here's the thing. But it pissed me off when I saw it. The I mean apology? No, this whole thing. Oh, okay. The apology also did too, because I was just like, no, wait, 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 wait. But, we, but I'm, yeah, I'm it, not going to get each his own, it. A, a, to each timing of its own, to each timing of its own. But however, comma, 
I think we have to be very, um, very careful about whose collaborations we do. And I understand you're not always going to mm. be able to like get it right the first time. So I, I, I don't mm -hmm. even, I'm not too, even though I'm yelling and I am upset about, and I can understand why the people who supported them for me, not it's not like that heavy on me because I was not actually a listener of their podcast, mm -hmm. but I do know there are black women that really, really champion it, champion them because oh, of their hurt. Yes. So, and I can understand why For Sure, because it feels like that should be besides being your authentic self, as far as in yeah. showing our personality, you would never let someone belittle the audience that has put you where you are at in any way, shape or form. I, I know we got to get to this ad, but I want to say something else. Go ahead, read the ad, because I got to say something, too. Well, luckily, they're still alive, because if they were dead, <laughs> they better have Policy Genius. Okay? Listen, we're so excited that Policy Genius is a sponsor of today's podcast, and I'm actually really excited to tell you about them, because my family used them, me, my husband, and my mom. You know, September makes you start thinking and planning for the rest of the year, right? We're going into fall. It's about to be Christmas. <laughs> New Year will be here in Can't any moment. wait! Uh, but everybody's in their back to school schedule. They've got big projects to finish by the end of the year. You know, I got to finish the day going album. There's holiday plans, travel. Well, planning ahead is crucial in life, especially when it comes to what happens when you're gone. Getting the ins life insurance, excuse me, may sound daunting, but policy genius makes the process a breeze with policy genius. You can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for a million dollars of coverage. Some options offer same day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exams. I can tell y'all how many times we tried to get life insurance policies um, prior to policy genius first when we had only one child we were like okay let's give it a try it was too confusing I didn't trust the agent we tried again again I was like I don't understand what's really going on this does not make me feel comfortable <clears throat> finally back in 2021 I we did this ad and I said I'm gonna give them a try this is the first time I've ever had life insurance outside of a work policy. They made it so easy. I did not feel stressed out. I felt like they were really there to help me. That's the reason why I had my mother and my husband use it, and they felt the same as well. And if you ever need help or guidance, they have an expert license support team to answer your questions, handle paperwork, and advocate for you throughout the process. It's the country's leading online insurance marketplace. Since they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over the other, their advice is unbiased. Um, and uh, also, uh, hold on one second. Um, if you are a homeowner, mortgage payments are common costs that can be covered by life insurance. So if anything happens to me or my husband, our house will be paid off in full and we will have money. Mm, got to over. have it. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I don't no, want to add no stress to my family. And I already got my death. Yeah, I said, well, because especially me and Marcus, our job is very linked to each other. So if yeah. he go, half of my income is gone. Mm -hmm. Who's who's going to do the challenges? Who, who, exactly. I can't just keep doing it by myself. Is this going to cause an argument? Am I going to argue by myself? I can't do it. So I was like, now listen, we got to make sure we're taking care of each other. It's never too late to plan ahead. Head to policygenius.com or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com. Okay. Oh, shits and gigs. They just made me shit. That's listen. it. When it wasn't gigging. So, dang, I forgot what I was going to say before the ad. I don't like how they handled this is what I'm saying. And I, and you'll hear in their apology that Kevin will play. I'm letting, I'm allowing you to get your thought together. You don't have to listen to me. Find no, no, your go thought. Ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um, I, oh, it can't, there we go. There was another clip that went <laughs> viral good, where it was like, um, they were asking the, uh, Andrew was asking the guys who's top five, most beautiful women in the world. And they were like, uh, I remember who said it and I can't find it now. They're like Megan Thee Stallion. He's like, Megan, the Andrew was like, Megan the Stallion. They're like, yeah, nigga, Me like paraphrasing. Yeah, Megan the Stallion. You're like top five in the world. And I'm in my mind, I'm like, nigga, what, what world do you live in? Where Megan the Stallion ain't one of the top five beautiful women in the world. That is not Taylor and Swift it, is a better wife, performer to him than Beyonce. Dog, Kevin, that is, that I was like, what are we, yeah, why is this a debate? We're not in. We're, he's in a universe that we are not in. That's why I was like, bro, what is y'all, what is y'all talking about? And I'm not even, I don't even think only black men think that. I do not like, I do not, you talk about get me riled up. <laughs> I don't like if someone is stating that they think a certain black woman is pretty for someone to then decide that they are going to take aim at that woman as far as in why you think. 
Yeah. yeah. Would you? I remember that happened one time when my husband was like, when Serena was like younger in her career, he was like, she is bad to me. And somebody was like, Serena? You said this? Or Marcus no, did? Marcus said that got Serena it, got Williams. It, got it. And somebody was like, Serena what? Now, Serena Williams ain't me, but I was like, I'd be damned if you say that his opinion is not a valid to him because <laughs> she's not some <laughs> traditional beauty in your, you know what I'm saying? In right. your eyes. Yeah. That type of, let me tell you. You talking about piss me off? Mm -hmm. That type of stuff will get it. Because I don't, there are people who I think are ugly. L listen, I'm not saying that that ain't got to be the case. <laughs> but when it comes to black women, I really don't like when people try to take when somebody else in a conversation says it's beautiful and be like, <sighs> what? Especially when it's someone who has more like African features. Because th that's just, your slip is showing, in my opinion. Your slip is showing. And I think, um, here's what I want to say. I think. Andrew over the last pandemic pandemic he 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 has skyrocketed to fame and I think to Angel's point a lot of it has been uh toy the line towing the line but not even towing the line like outright attacking or making jokes let's say making okay. jokes about every culture and being like oh black people are this white people are that Jew like no everybody can get it Mm. Type you, of thing. Can you give the stage crew a brief summary of who Andrew Schultz is? Andrew Schultz is a comedian. He's a podcaster. He's a co-host of the Brilliant Idiots podcast with Charlamagne the God. Flagrant Two is his podcast with Akash, uh, Alex. I don't know the actual huh. thing, but I know Akash and Andrew. Um, but in the pandemic, he kind of skyrocketed. I'd say he went on Joe Rogan and and skyrocket he was doing this thing where he would uh remember this heavy of the pandemic he would basically do almost kind of like a daily show esque of uh, rant mm -hmm. and everybody would get it no it was like anti pc culture jokes right uh to angel's point like uh taylor swift more uh a better performer than beyonce i think he said mm -hmm. but he got a netflix special um during that time he went from Comedy clubs, part of the pandemic, to to theaters, mm -hmm. to like, you see clips of him now in arenas. I think he sold out Madison Square Garden twice. Mm -hmm. And this is all 2022 now, mm -hmm. right? So to Angel's point, he's he's known for, like the title of the podcast is Flagrant. It's like, you know, man, we, the, um, it's anti-PC culture comedy. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is yeah. kind of what his even stage comedy has grown into as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. He prides himself on being problematic. Uh, he he and he prides himself on he doesn't he goes after everyone. Mm -hmm. Literally, he'll go to Abu Dhabi or uh, he went to um, I think this club was in Abu Dhabi. He was talking about sheiks like he'll go to your audience and talk about you. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's how he got big. I think the S and G's thing happened and it's it's two things I think happen. I don't think anybody who knows Andrew is surprised that he said the things he said. Correct. I think what happened is black women thought they had a safe space in the guys and James and Fu had. Yes. And when they didn't defend them, they were like, now we know how he be, but where were y'all to be where we be? Right. You supposed to defend us. We not really, nobody is surprised that Andrew Schultz said any of the things he said in those clips, mm -hmm. they are surprised unless that the guys, just, unless you just found unless out, unless you're just him. finding out yeah. about him. Right. But nobody who's aware of him already is surprised. That's what he's been known for, for the last three or four years. It's what skyrocketed him to where he is now and probably will continue to be. I think you like black women to angels point. There's a lot of, uh, uh, S and G's fans in my Patreon. When we had them, the Patreon was like, Oh, my two favorite podcasts. Yeah, no, the people love them. They love it. And I love them too. Like, listen, I still like the guys. I want to be, you know, clear about that. I'm gonna play their apology in a minute as well. And I think that's what's happening here. That's why I said, if you go on a podcast, what you say matters, what you laugh at matters, what you push back and don't push back all matters. I think that's the lesson that the guys, figured out in this thing. And also, I think, let me just throw this out there. Race issues in America and divisive issues in America, they might, I, I'm throwing this out there. I don't know. I know there's racism in England, but when I, black people in England have always said racism is a little more quiet and hidden in England. Mm -hmm, and racism is very much in your face in America, mm -hmm. right? But I think, um, the racism in America hits a little 
harder and more brash than it does in England. This is from what black Brits say over there. It's like, they're going to be racist. They invented racism. Yeah. But they're going to be quietly racist about it. And America going to be like, America! Like that. <laughs> we're loud and brash about everything we do. Uh -huh. Like that dude, that white dude who slipped up. He was trying to say, he said he was trying to say migrant or immigrant. And he said, nigger. The Haitian nigger, I mean, I was trying to say migrant. No. You, what you was trying to do is not say nigger, right. and you said it. <laughs> come on, come you on. Was try, your brain you, you knew better. what you wanted to say. You better. Because ain't no migrant, immigrant, nigger. Yeah. You went and found the word you wanted. Right. Because you wanted to replace migrant, nigga, from Haiti, from America, y'all niggas to me. That's what you wanted to say. I, you, you know what? Listen, I don't think any of us are surprised that Food Hard or James date white women. I got that vibe. I didn't get that. Oh, I absolutely got that vibe. <laughs> I didn't get it. I I 100% was like, mm-hmm, they like the snow bunnies. <laughs> so it's not like I would, am even like, <laughs> like when they say, no, we date, but it was obvious to me that they definitely have dated a slew of white women i think i was more surprised when they were like no we both dated black women i want to be like congratulations <laughs> how can I you think... get that i don't get i didn't even honestly i don't i have a hard time telling black people who are mixed y'all don't listen to me i didn't know j cole was mixed till last thursday you know there's a vibe there's a vibe like i definitely see that black women are their home girls but i don't know about their girlfriend uh, but again but that you a black woman now listen, you I, might you, have a little more insight. Exactly. You know when you barking up the wrong tree. Like, oh, oh, you, oh yeah, you not over here. Not that I was barking up the tree. I'm just saying as a no, black no, woman, you. You. you can tell when a dude, a, a nigga is into black yeah. women and when they not. Yeah. So I don't, that's not even the issue. Mm -hmm. You could date all For the sure. white women in the world, right? I don't think people were supporting them because they thought they had a chance with them in bed. Right. You can be a protective person, if you, even if I wouldn't be your type. Correct. Right. But when you compound that with you are saying things that are are kind of letting us believe that you have an opinion of us that is negative when it comes to <clears throat> looks and that you don't mind allowing other people to drag our looks in our personalities as well. Yeah. It's kind of like, no, then we can't even be homeboys and homegirls. If right. you're sitting, like, I would never, I would never let someone dog my homegirls out and I am a straight woman. Okay. No. I'm not like, oh, well, I, I find Denora attractive. So I have to defend women that look that way, but she's my homegirl. So what you're not about to do. Let me tell you what you're not going to do. You're not about to do. Let me tell you what's crazy, right? So as so this this thing was big this this situation more clips are coming out than i've ever seen that are not even related to andrew right because people were like black people was like you should have called them out shane gillis i don't know if you remember you know this name shane gillis is a white dude who was up for saturday night live right mm -hmm. he didn't get it because i believe and correct me on this if i'm wrong patreon shane gillis I believe he said nigga on a, on a secret podcast, oh. Patreon. Let me know if I'm right. I know he not, he not, he didn't get Saturday night live. And it was, I think it had something to do with him saying nigga or something like that. I'm waiting for the comments to come through. Cause I don't want to be wrong. Asian joke. Asian jokes. Okay. It was an agent Asian slur slur. Okay. So he didn't get that Saturday night live. Cause he made an Asian show. That's right. Race, race, racist Asian comment. My bad. I threw that nigga in there just because I thought that's usually, that's usually <laughs> what stops you from. Nigga. from no. Can you say nigga? Oh. What he say? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 All right. So he didn't get Saturday Night Live, but he then became a household star and has gotten everything else since. Mm -hmm. He got a TV show on Netflix. He got specials. Like sometimes to get white and get canceled could be the greatest boost yeah, of your career yeah. in the world. Yeah. I never even heard about you. You got canceled. Didn't get Saturday Night Live. Now you got everything else in the world. Come on. He was on Flagrant 2, right? This is how TikTok will do you, boy. You get on one thing, they going to they gonna show you everything you miss. So Andrew uh, Schultz and them were making fun of uh, people with Down syndrome, right? I'm not going to play the clip. Oh, Jesus. No. And Shane Gillis was like, that's not funny. 
I don't think that's cool. He was like, this is you, ain't it? And it was a, a kid with Down syndrome. He's like, is that the joke that, that I'm, that you're, let me, let me just play it. Cause I don't want to get it wrong. And I, you know what? That's his rival's profile picture. <laughs> the person with Down syndrome, you can't see it clearly. I just want to hear the sound. It's Andrew Schultz. It's, 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 it's Andrew Schultz and I hear Akash too. Yeah, same podcast. Like Different guest. This is no, Shane Gillis on the podcast. Congrats. I don't think that's funny. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I see that. I see why. I see why. Like, you don't get it, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> but that's not me, so yeah. I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't get the joke. What do you say? Yeah. It's okay, dude. It's okay. Hmm, not convinced yet? We'll take a look at this next bit then. Dude, I was watching your TikTok account. That. What's that? <laughs> Which one? That's better. Yeah. That was better. The Gillian Keeps? That was better. No, your personal TikTok. I don't think, I swear to God, I don't have one. Also, you sounded 38 when you said that. That was great. Yeah, you're, yeah, your TikTok account yeah, yeah, yeah. is also yeah. your account. Yeah. Yeah. Your account on TikTok. Yeah, I was well, watching it. I swear to God, well, maybe I don't. somebody's doing an yeah. account with you. An insult. Yeah. Use it. This is, the, this is the part. I'm trying to get to the part. Get up and mock them. Uh-huh. Hey, that guy's nice. By the way, yeah, yeah. that's wild. Wow. These guys are really, awesome. Yeah. They're having fun. Yeah, for you guys yeah. to sit here and be like, oh, wait a minute, let's bring it up and mock them. That's <laughs> up, dude. That's a, <laughs> that's a dude. You yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah, by by yeah. using them as an insult. Yes. Use it. Yeah. We're using you. <laughs> so <laughs> you're insulting them by saying I no, look like no, them? No, or you're insulting, insulting me you. by saying I yeah, look yeah, like yeah. them? This is you back in your victim thing. No, no, I'm not being a victim. I'm saying the jokes you're you're doing is not, it's not like. <laughs> that's PC? That's not cool. You know what's really triggering? You're making fun of these guys, these down syndrome dudes yeah. putting out TikTok videos. So I think <laughs> that's what black women wanted. Yeah. They wanted them to be like, that's not funny. And I don't get the joke. And mm-hmm. I'm not laughing. Mm-hmm. You want to make me uncomfortable? I'm going to make you uncomfortable yeah. by saying, I don't think that's funny. I'm going to kill this whole vibe. I'm going to kill this whole vibe. That's not cool. Like, are you PC? No, that's not funny. Not PC. That's not funny. That's not that's cool. That's your victim thing. You're doing yeah. your victim thing. No, no, no. See how weird that feels? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> that's what black women wanted. Mm-hmm. For her to be like, no, that's 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 not, no, that's not it. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, moving on, right? And that's what didn't happen. I think black people, black people, but black women especially are like, now we thought you you had us, right? Yeah. So now let's play the apology. Yeah. Um. This was yesterday. We have, you guys have taken... Guys, girls. Right, before we get into today's episode, Mm -hmm. uh, quick PSA, quick acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. Um, So, if you know, you know. If you don't, that's fine. Um, But we just wanted to address something that's happening at the minute. This past weekend, uh, there's been a couple of clips going around uh, from when we did a session on the Flagrant podcast um, while we were on our US tour. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, there were a, a few jokes made. Um, that were incredibly inappropriate. One, incredibly. Speci- <laughs> Bro, incredibly. one specifically pertaining to black women. Yep. Um, and in the clip, um, Andrew was making a joke. Uh, I'm not even going to get into specifics. Making a, uh, like, frankly, like, racist joke. Yeah. And we were laughing at it. Mm. And to give, there's, there's, first of all, before we get into, like, specifics or anything like that, obviously there's just literally no excuse. There is no excuse. Agreed. Um, and Agreed. Fight or flight is a real thing. Like, it is, yeah. Fight or flight is a real thing, and it's so, not easy to say, but it, when you're in those situations, you you look at it through a lens of, like, bro, if it was me, I promise you I'll stand up, I'll kick them cameras down, yeah. I'll smack homeboy in the face, yeah. I'll say this, I'll do that. But when you're in there, you're in shock. You're in shock, and all you want to do is move on. Yeah, yeah. All you, bro, all move on is the fucking do, word, bro. All like, you want to do is fucking move on. Just move on to the next thing. Yeah. Just move on to the next thing. There's and so like, many we had times. to say a few times, bro, just move on. Just move just on. Move on. so many different topics. You were like, move on, move on, move on. Yeah. And it's not even like about pity laughs or anything, but we just wanted to... Get, get out of that situation. Out of, get, literally get out of that situation, keep the ball rolling. And we thought it was going to be more of like a... A bro's... Yeah, it just ended up being something that's ended up being something that's like really, really hurt people that look to us for support and look Mm. to us to feel protected. And protected is the main thing that I wanted to discuss is that it is our duty to protect you guys. Um and it is definitely not cool to be in that situation and (laughs) again not be the ones to stand up and keep the cameras down. And we fucked it. On that occasion, we did. it's not going to happen again. 
and it's about being human. It's about mm. realizing that you don't know what you're prepared for. You don't know how to prepare for something, something you don't know. That you about. don't know yeah. what's gonna happen. Yeah. And once it's happened one time, you're like, fuck. All right. You learn from your mistakes, um, and that's literally that's you literally, literally learn from your mistakes. Yeah, we man. fucked it, and we're like, we're sorry. You and you definitely, you definitely do apologize. It's for me, like, it's one of them ones where you you don't realize that, like, for one. When you're part of a community, you don't realize that you can hurt your own community. Mm, especially when, so when, bad. when you're not, yeah, when, yeah. when unintentionally. Unintentionally, for real. And yeah. also, on, on top of that, it was so crazy that, like, the narrative that's been spun about how we feel about our community, mm. the irony of the fact that whilst the whole reason we're in that country was to just show how much we love our community yeah. and show how much we love our supporters and yeah. how much time we spent at the shows. And just like getting to know people mm -hmm. and just like understanding our community better and just like making friends and making bonds and showing yeah. love and they're showing love. And this whole six week trip was just about showing how much we love our community yeah, and how much our community show, them, up, yeah. show out for us. And then <sighs> to have that exact same trip be the reason that we're having to, to have this conversation now. Um, but at the end of the day, um, Mistakes make you a better person. Mistakes do make you're you a better person. A per you're not born yeah. a perfect person. Um, and, yeah, we don't condone, we don't appease that behavior, mm. we don't rate it, um, and we don't want you guys to think that we were sat in that room rating what's going on. We hold our hands up, we apologize, um, you learn from your mistakes, and we hope we don't let our community down again because ultimately we we do this for you guys. Like, Yeah, you guys are all we you guys, have, man. You guys are literally all we have. You guys have taken us to this, to this level, and we don't want to let you guys down going forward and anymore so you know <sighs> yeah but anyway on to regular viewership yes sir uh i just want to tell you why i was laughing <laughs> the patreon in here with the non-british people was, mark g said bollocks <laughs> bollocks <laughs> <laughs> they taking the piss bro <laughs> i said y'all well, y'all gonna be funny at every time. Every turn every bollocks time. is just a funny thing to read while i'm reading the patreon's comments there's a, it looks like an English breakfast in here. There's a lot of tomato. <laughs> tomato. Oh, there's tomatoes, tomatoes. Now, let me tell you, I, I just want to say this. Say As it. a person who's been given the apology, no matter what your apology You're is, not gonna get it right. you never, nobody want to hear it regardless. Correct. You cannot, when I made my apologies videos in the past, it don't, they don't care. No matter what. Now, I think there's levels to a good apology, Right. One of them is I take full accountability. I messed up. They would have just said we effed it. We were wrong. We let black people down. Could have been 15 seconds. But no matter what, when you pissed off and I don't like you, I don't like you. Mm -hmm. There ain't no apology that people are going to take. Um, and you, I, I feel like the most offended party in this situation is black women. Mm -hmm. uh, from the comments. Yo, no, they lost a lot of them. They, 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 they did because it was like, okay, fool me once. Shame on yeah. you, fool me twice. Shame How'd you on feel me. about the apology? Uh, it was a little like, you know, it's flight or flight. It's real. It's real. And I don't think they meant fight or flight in the traditional, like, a I bear is coming. Meant. I no, know people what were like, meant. now fight or flight, like, uh, y'all know what they, they, I feel like they meant, like, you know what I'm saying? No, I, I froze they, up. Yes. And I did and the uncomfortable thing. And people do that all the time. It is some, I, I do understand the sentiment of, in that situation, we laughed, but we were actually not comfortable. Mm -hmm. And we didn't uh, handle the situation appropriately. Mm -hmm. it, it, But it, I think to some people who watched it, they were like, you look like y'all were laughing comfortably enough. And that's what the, the thing, <laughs> look, people in the picture are like, no, I see some yucking. Yeah. Uh, H Y U C. Uh, ha ha. Yucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, somebody said, y'all was wiping tears from your eye. That ain't even uncomfortable. I would have taken uncomfortable laughter. Yeah. But y'all look like y'all was having big like, fun this is, this down is some in Baltimore stuff we've said before. with the wretched. With the wretched. Big fun down in Baltimore with the wretched. So I think that that part of their apology that is trying to give us a little bit of intel on the psyche at the time for some people seems different. Uh, disingenuous like mm. no it seemed like you all thought that everyone would see this as jokes and then when you came out and saw the comments and you were like oh no people yeah. don't see this as jokes they took it very personally mm -hmm. um 
And and okay, say it is. Say say that what they're saying is actually true. And like we really do not know what was going on in their minds when they were sitting on that um on that podcast uh couch. I think for them this is truly more so of a moment of letting them see how much of of their community they are not re- actually a reflection of. Like it's when I look at my community, most of my community is an actual reflection of me. Most of my community are women near my age. Mm-hmm. So it is actually a lot easier for me to represent my community when I am out and about. Because yes. if you Your say, community is you. It's me. So if you say something about my community, you've obviously already insulted me. <laughs> so, so there's not going to be a lot of a hee hee ha ha because you're not about no, to talk yeah. about me to my face. If here's the thing was on there and Angel was sitting on that podcast, they would have been. Hey, now listen, I don't wrestle with Angel. That girl's strong. <laughs> yes, Angel so. country strong. But yes, I Angel am. Angel wrestled me. We did a challenge show. That girl hip tossed me. I I said, woo. <laughs> that I'm girl, a strong girl. She got Three leverage. Back, yeah. It threw my, well, that, that was that wasn't her fault. That was I wasn't stretching, but she activated it. <laughs> Angel, don't let don't let the the, the uh, head wrap fool you. That girl country strong. Yeah, you're not going <laughs> So I think for them, it's more so a lesson of you call these people your community, but you're not actually kind of in it. You know, if what you're I'm not saying? gonna defend it. If you're if not, you're not gonna defend it, then are you in it? Are, are you in, in it, it? In it. And also, you that one I, it would have pinged your ear a little bit harder. Yeah. If you are real, it's just like I'm not inside of the LGBT LGBTQIA community. So while I am in, I am trying to be a for real ally. Yeah. I know I might sometimes be a little slower to catch up on things that are like, oh, that was a microaggression. For sure. I need to, I need to for challenge sure. what you just said. One thousand percent. Those weren't microaggressions, no. though. <laughs> Those weren't. And, and and it took you way too MF and long yeah. to try to be like, hey, whoa, hold up. Like, why you not going to make them the butt of the joke? Talk about your community, Andrew. Talk about the plain looking white women that you date. Don't talk about black women. You can talk about them. Let's yeah. talk about y'all just look ugly because y'all match. <laughs> You black women, the white men go up because the white women, black women be fine and they're trying to match the pretty. One. Y'all just be basic together because y'all don't have to move anything. And the funny thing about the, not the funny thing, but the interesting thing about the black girlfriend effect that started this, it was showing you how, how the white men be looking all kind of ways and the black women uh, in the relationship, they do the glow up. Get, get them together. They be looking up. Listen, I ain't gonna hold you, boy. And that's the black woman effect is for all men. Yeah. You think I go in my closet and don't lay my stuff <laughs> against my shirt? People complimenting my wedding stuff was Melissa, even Angel, my home girl. I had a, a shirt on that somebody sent me some merch. This morning, Angel said, "You take that off, friend." <laughs> like, she said, "Not worry. only," I said, "You see my titty." She said, "I can see your belly button through this shirt." <laughs> so you ain't even got to be in a romantic relationship. Black women gonna get you, and they got you, yeah. right? Yeah. If, if you got them, correct. Now, when you ain't got them, it ain't all jokes. And here's the other part about it. The, there's a famous quote. There's no one more disrespected than the black woman. In truth, we it's 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 so true. So when we when black women see like okay, you got our bad. Like, let me tell you who's you, you think James and Fu had got it bad. Had I been sitting in that chair, I would be working at Best Buy tomorrow. The the only re oh Nick yes you would, would uh, yes when, you would tour over podcast <laughs> over. <laughs> Our uh, podcast is still going. Because, nigga, wait, don't what? you think I'll take that motherfucking title from you and find another nigga to say Oh, you thing? take here's the thing. Oh, I'll be like, <laughs> we just going to put an accent over the E. It's fine. We'll move the apostrophe over. And I'm going to get somebody else. I'll be like, I'll be damned if you're going to destroy this for both of us because you stupid. Listen, people in my comments, men often be like, nigga, Kev panders the black woman. And if that's, I don't feel like that. <laughs> but if that's what you think. If protecting comes across a panda, Panda McGee, Panda Express, <laughs> when, <laughs> Kung Fu Panda, you yes. whatever you want to call the pandas. Because nigga, I know. Panda, panda, first panda, of all, panda, outside panda. of my monetizable audience, I'm not even talking about money. I'm talking about my life. 
Mm -hmm. My life is bettered by being in community, in community with black women. Yes. At my house, in my game night. When, I'm not talking about Kevin. I'm talking about Kevin Allen. Yeah. Fredericks. Mm -hmm. the, I, they'd be busting me up in Thanksgiving. And, and I'm talking about my grandma, my aunties. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My friend. <laughs> So nah, like that it would be over for me. Kev would be off that stage. Hers the thing. There we go. <laughs> single me out, Joshy. We don't even got that side no more. <laughs> Just single me out, Joshy. Hers the thing. Joshy on stage. <laughs> Josh is like, me and my black woman, Man. we stand with the black community. <laughs> Josh, I got my black girl. Yeah. He's like, y'all know I love him. I got black car. Black hair. <laughs> Black no. Eyed Peas, both the fruit, the food and the group. No, I say all this to say, listen, I was not, uh, again, I'm not going to sit here in front. Like, I listened to Shits and Gig um, outside of maybe a couple of clips that come up into my TikTok when I'm mm -hmm. on TikTok, which is not uh, often. Um, I I am so sorry that they're, uh, what's wrong? The Patreon is on a roll. What the they said, here's the Costa with Spanish guy. Unruly, <laughs> unruly Amigos. Shit. Unruly Amigos featuring Spanish guy. Listen, you understand? We gonna keep it going. Here's the Costa because Costa is no. a Spanish I, word for things. Somebody said, aquí esa la cosa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they throw me away on my podcast in real time. Yeah. Patreon is paying subscribers. If I, if you don't think, if I know, I know them numbers would drop. I'm top plummet. Aquí es la thing. Bro, it'd always be over with. It'd be over with. And that don't make me know. Never mind. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but they was on. They Patreon be getting on sometimes. Yeah. They be killing it sometimes. I, so what I was going to say is one. So first of all, I feel really bad for the black women that did support them and have championed them Yeah, because I know that black women, it, it, not just black women in England, but black women in America really, it really helped. They, they held them down. So I feel sorry for them <laughs> because I know this had to be disappointing as far as the James and Fuhad. I know they'll recover. Like they said, this is a lesson that they'll, they have learned and I'm sure it's probably hitting their pockets a little bit because for people, sure. people, my niece victory said unsubscribe 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 oh, on yeah. every single platform that that's going to sting monetary sometimes and i think the backlash is one thing here here's the levels of backlash mm -hmm. people who don't support you being mad at you that's inconsequential mm -hmm. when people who act, the real true cancellation is when i once supported you especially monetized monetizable way if i was on your patreon if i came to your shows and I will never support you again. That is being canceled. Yeah. When your actual supporters no longer feel safe, inspired, intrigued, mm -hmm. curious enough to give you their life. And it ain't even got to be money. Yeah. It can be because, listen, if here's the thing drops in viewership, you know what else is going to drop? The ad revenue. Yeah. The all YouTube of it. revenue. We don't get no YouTube revenue that much because we say nigga anyway. Uh, that yellow light come on on this video. Every every video is that yellow light. Well, let's come stop on. saying it so you can get the money uh, from nigga, the YouTube. Please. Oh uh, no! But uh, <laughs> and that's gonna be harsh. I I think you have to learn. You have to learn. I hope they do learn. Oh, I think they will. I think, I think they, they will, will cover. I think the I I think the apology. I think their apology was genuine. I think it can be. You can genuinely give an apology. People don't accept. I think you can be genuine. Oh, yeah. I don't usually question. Uh, I, I very rarely um, say people. You, the wording can be all over the place, but your genuineness can be genuine. Yeah. And I still hope the guys learn from this. I think they will. I Again, I don't see people as binary. I don't yeah. think, oh, my God, now I know that you honestly hate black women. No. But I do hope that they do take this time to find ways in which they can actually, instead of just um, using black women for their, because uh, that's what it is, for their viewership yeah, and their yeah, money. Yeah. To You're going to have to protect them more actively than that. Not just protect them. You're going to have to service them. You're going to have to actually give them something beneficial yeah. because they can find laughs elsewhere. Yes. So, uh, yeah, hopefully they'll, they'll figure out a way. Nah, I'm done with y'all. <laughs> hopefully they'll figure out a way. I, I don't think this is the end of them. They definitely lost some people for forever, but hopefully yeah. they'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. 
We went on longer than I wanted, but that that was the number one thing in the Patreon. I didn't think you would talk about it, so I, I was going to slip it in there. You know what? I was talking to Melissa about this. I said, man, I, as a content creator, as a highly visible pers- person, as a celebrity, whatever, I don't like to talk about stuff like this that much. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you what I also know, because this is what TikTok will teach you, too. Trending topics is trending topics. Yeah. Your downfall will be a trending topic. If I were them... I'm not saying they specifically, but if I were the topic of the day for something like this or whatever it was, right, whatever I did, if I don't think I'd be on podcasts all over the place, people who I, who are my friends, mm-hmm. who got a job to do, listen, the same way Shannon Sharp is friends with Deion Sanders, and then when Colorado plays poorly, he'd be like, Colorado didn't play well. You got to do your job as well. And I got to service my audience. Also, did you see that Shannon Sharp, the, he had sold the... That's my Michelle merch for a little bit after that. And now that that's my Michelle merch is gone. Wait a minute. He had shirts that said, that's my Michelle. Uh, and then like film department and 69 fuel nightcap podcast for like 48 hours. And it sold out or he took it away. No, They took it down. Well, cause, cause it was on a print to, um, you know, the print to order type websites. Yeah. It was on that and they took it all down. Yeah. Yeah. I saw this was after we covered it. Yeah. Like the next day they had merch and I said, now merch is confusing because if you said, I'm we're, sorry, it was a mistake. We're not confused. I didn't know. Now, now when you monetize that, if you said I did it on purpose, merch is fine because mm-hmm. you didn't care. He said he cried. He didn't know. He thought, you know, I talked to my kids, but within 16 hours, He's not, like, I'm, I used the money. And, and wipe the tears from my eyes. <laughs> I used the money from the shirts, T-shirts to sale, my Michelle. Uh, I did not know. Yeah. They I did saw, not know. They saw merch and I said, okay, now nah, that's confusing. And then the next day they said he t- um, took that merch down. Uh-huh. Right, listen, I, listen I, I'd like to sell merch. But at some point you got to leave some of that money on the table. Listen. Sometimes you got to, even if you can make it. Don't mean you should. Don't mean you should. Don't mean you should. All right, moving on. Uh, quick sports talk. Asia okay. Wilson, thoughts on her greatest, latest achievement? She is MVP. She's probably going to be MVP. Might no, be. she is. I'm speaking it into existence. Yes, she, if she doesn't, heads will roll. Might get defensive player of the this year. Is, this is uh, did they already have back to back championship wins? They, they, they up for the triple. Uh, what is it called? Crown? No, no. You win three P. Three P. Oh, yeah. That's I don't know gonna if they're happen. gonna get it because it's hard to win three in a row. Hard to win two in a row. Hard to win one period. That that. But she had a big achievement this week. She had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Asia she Wilson. She became the first WNBA player, player to score 1,000 1, points, points in a, in a season. season. <laughs> That's the baby I'm talking about. That baby is called 1,000 points. And she, she might that baby. also break the WNBA season record for rebounds. This is what Angel Reese already has. Yeah, yeah but, but she might she, break that. She might break that, too, because Angel Reese got hurt. Um, but Asia might be – she she might break that record – both those records in the same season. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. When she, <laughs> she might have twins. So she might, she already had the first baby. That's, that's in the docket, Angel. It said a, Asia Wilson, 1,000 points. Uh, I know, I said it. You acted like I didn't say what I, she did. The 1,000 points is the first baby. We hope that the twin gets delivered safely, which will be <laughs> breaking the rebound. Um, I was about to call it milestone record. Aja Wilson is a phenom, okay? And she knows what she's doing in the game, and she's the best at it. That's why she should be MVP, and that's why the uh, Las Vegas Aces <laughs> going to get the the treat the three p <laughs> the tripper. I really want them to win, man. Chelsea Gray, she's playing herself into in season form. She started the season injured, and she's playing better and better and better. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's hard to win. Yeah, it's hard to win. Looks like the Liberty probably are the front runners to win the championship. You know, WMA finals is like October tenth. I just saw a thing like the final start October. The 10th. what? A what? 
WNBA Finals. WNBA Finals, yes. Yeah, but if the Aces win, I'm going to be ecstatic. The fever going to be in there. Caitlin Clark got them fever in Did Indiana. sixth place, I believe. Um, they went from a lottery team to... Uh, I want to see the Aces in person. Sorry, somebody oh just Oh, my God. It. Angel? What's the face? You already took the damn invitation. You just took it. No, I didn't do... I I went. That wasn't Sydney's. Oh, okay, great. We I'm just gonna went that. I'm gonna take to it. the game. <laughs> my first like, great Sydney, sporting hey. event uh, that I went to was a WNBA game when I went to the Storm game. This was back in mm-hmm. the early 2000s. I had so much fun there. But the Aces? First of all, live sports ain't nothing but production. The Aces game felt just like when I went to uh, Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. Pyrotechnics, the it's energy. Great. But their production, plus their arena that they play in, was really electric. Mm. And they lost that game. But we had a time. I got to see the L.A. Sparks play back when um, Candace Parker was still on the team. Mm-hmm. They lost. And I went, we got to go meet some of the teammates. It wasn't as fun right. as if they won. She did take a picture with my niece, even though she was just so upset at their loss. And oh, was, yeah. That's when just, the Aces lost. It wouldn't, I, I couldn't, I didn't want to go backstage oh, and stuff. I was like, Candace, because I don't know when we're going to get another opportunity. You got to do it. She was like, <laughs> like that's fine. I can photoshop yeah, I get it. You, smile. You're a little bit upset. Yeah, you're, you're, a little upset. Bit, you're a little bit upset. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I absolutely, while I, you know, being a sports commentator as a profession and one of the best, uh, me and Jamel Hill, um, I don't often get to go see these games live, but I do, I will say women's sports, one, because they're more technically sound, and two, because they're so freaking competitive, can be some of the, like, most entertaining games. Oh, like I told my my boys, me and Melissa, all were some, First of all, being that close, you don't realize how fast and strong and physical they are. And that's any sport. But the WNBA players, I said, oh, this is a much more physical game than it looks like on TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I went to the NFL game and I was on the sideline, I'm big man. Mm-hmm. I'm six foot, six one, two seventy. I was on that sideline with them NFL men. I said, whew, y'all big, strong men are in the world. <laughs> when you're much bigger than me, much. Asia Wilson, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, I believe. Left-hand jumper. Oh, oh. She's only 6'4", six, 6'5"? Six, yep. Let me double check that. How Ooh. tall is Angel Reese? She's 6'3". There was somebody. Oh, you know what? Asia yeah, was Asia's beside. Six, Sydney. Sydney is not that tall. Sid is five seven. Yeah, but me and her were looking about the <laughs> Sid same is height. Five seven. And I think I saw them two beside each other. And I was like, is Asia seven foot eleven? Yeah, but six, then I forgot four. that Sydney is not yeah, tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, moving on. Uh rest in peace to Tito Jackson. Gone. Gone. Tito. Now, in his passing, I learned, I did not know this. The Jackson Five basically started. Tito Jackson was up. He would be uh, Joe. Joe <clears throat> Jackson would say, "Don't touch my guitar when I go to work." Mm-hmm. Tito went up there and learned how to play guitar. Yeah. He said his mom let him, and he was playing for months and months and months and months and months and months. Got really good. Mm-hmm. He broke a string. This is Tito's own words. I saw a video. Mm-hmm. He um, uh, it was in the movie. He said it was in the movie. I didn't get it clear. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. That was in the movie. I can't remember the movie. I, I remember some of the parts of the movie, but I ain't seen American Dream in a, in a, in a couple uh, years. But either way, mm-hmm. it wasn't as clear as this to me in the movie. And I've seen, I, I seen that was a five-part miniseries, I believe. i seen, but it wasn't as clear to this in me. But anyway, it was in the movie. He learned to play the guitar. He broke the string. Um... Joseph was like, why you break my string? He's like, I was playing the guitar. He said, play now. And he played in front of him. And his dad was like, you about better than me. It's Tito Jackson mm-hmm. uh, words. And um, he said, we started a singing group with Tito and the older kids, I believe Jermaine. And he started it with, um, hold on, I'm about to tell you. Who, he started with Jackie and Jermaine. Jackie and Jermaine. Thank you. And then later on added uh, Michael and Marla. So, uh, yeah, he no, he did whoop him silly first, Ransom Faves. He said, Tito did say that. He, he said, he told me up. First. Told me up. Now I'll play the guitar. Now, now play and sing. <laughs> okay. Let's get a group so going. Rest in peace 
to uh, Tito Jackson. I've watched Jackson. He was only American seventy too. years old. That's so young to me to just die to die. Did he? Do we know why he died? Mm -mm. If he died, just you know, dying. That's young. Now, yeah. if he has something going on, then yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's another thing. Uh, it would be terrible for me to pass away in old age. Before my kids, I mean, have my kids pass away before me. C Catherine Jackson done buried two, gonna have to be done buried two, but her baby. She with us, 93, if I'm not mistaken. Catherine. Oh, he had a heart attack. Oh, he's ooh. 70, right? He's 70. He was driving to New Mexico or through New Mexico. So rest in peace to Tito Jackson. Um, then thank you, Tito. Listen, your yes. disobedience. Is why Listen, uh, we have so many amazing songs. So, oh my God! It's we've been. It's eleven o'clock. Oh yeah, you didn't realize we've been no talking? It's been two hours. No, Kevin, we be putting in the work. All right, let's. There's gonna be something I'm gonna talk about, but I'm I'm gonna just say it for the Patreon only. Go ahead and cut this off. We love y'all. Bye y'all. Bonus Friday, y'all good? Yeah, I'm good for Friday. Bonus Friday. I work leaving? on Friday. No, I said I'm good for Friday. Good for Friday. I All work right. on Friday here. Yeah. All right, we'll see y'all, the rest of y'all, next week. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Fire. Oh, oh, oh. Here's another thing of fire. Oh. With my boy Kevin stays, and that chick angel.